And, you know, both school officials and Brockton police tell us that fights here at the high school are now trending down. These new security measures aim to eliminate them. Intend to hire director of security. Superintendent Dr. James Cobbs assuring the school committee and the community that more security is coming to Brockton High School. We plan to double the number of security personnel at the high school. Currently we have 12. That number will go up to 24 personnel um, between now and next, next school year. Principal Kevin McCaskill says there are already more boots on the ground and it's helping. Monitoring hallways, obviously with the restrooms, you know, moving students from, from one, spot, one spot to the other, hopefully into the classrooms. But again, just really making sure that we have a presence, that it's very visible, that adults are present in some of the hot spots within the building. The district also confirming tonight that former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis is heading up a state-funded safety audit in Brockton, and a new safety director will be hired to coordinate district-wide. Some of the stuff we can't speak publicly before those uh, get rolled out. In recent weeks, student fights have resulted in injured staffers and calls for the National Guard. Tonight, some parents told us they're encouraged by the planned changes. Katie Sanford says she has faith in Principal McCaskill. They listen and they respect him, and he knows their names, he knows their activities. Um, and he really cares about them and they can tell. This student says things have calmed down. We have a lot of great programs like the drama program, the band, the chorus. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of focus on the negative when we have so much good. Now that security audit by Ed Davis's company is due by June 30th and more uh, steps could be put into place for security based on those findings. We're live at Brockton High School tonight. I'm Mary Salatna, WCDB News Center 5.